since I'm sitting at home and a lot of people are at home, I'm wondering, would you go outside your house and socialize if the government were to pay you $500 a month to do so? Yeah, because South Korea is having an issue with people not going outdoors. And so they're willing to pay lonely people $500 to rejoin society. Yeah, so let's talk about why the country is doing this. So according to the Korea Institute for Health and Social Affairs, approximately 350,000 people from ages 19 to 39 in South Korea are considered lonely or isolated. That's really 3% of that age group there. So this per insider, more than a quarter of Koreans aged 20 to 39 have been diagnosed with depression at one point. 2019 government survey reported the South Korean Ministry of Gender Equality and Family offered a few explanations for this phenomenon. Personal trauma, bullying in school, academic stress, family conflict, lack of care from guardians or parents. So basically what emotional unavailability as well as like, let's not forget we kind of had a pandemic. I'm still pretty messed up, <laughs> that was fun. But of course that's not all. So surging home prices and rising job insecurity in South Korea are heaping immense social and financial pressure on its young generations. As if that's not going on here too, that's really funny. I'm glad that South Korea is actually doing something about it. But of course, so South Korea has been successful in controlling the spread of COVID-19 through aggressive measures. So that is a potential reason for the widespread isolation as well, as I mentioned. And in a case study that was provided by the ministry, an unnamed 17 year old told their story. They described themselves as a lethargic person who sleeps most of the time and only ate to survive. It was hard to leave the house, even if you muster up the courage to go outside. Making eye contact with people was difficult, the person said per the government release. Now, due to their irregular lifestyles and lack of nutrition, authorities are concerned that prolonged physical isolation will result in depression and stunt their physical development. Also, Korea's working age population is expected to decline steeply. As a result, some worry that a shrinking workforce could lead to really devastating imbalance in South Korea, where a small base of workers support a growing number of retirees. And I don't Doubt the decline is pretty much in part because maybe cost of living is going up. Um, people are now very much knowing birth control and not necessarily freely out in these streets populating, especially since you don't need family as much um, in terms of having a workforce to, uh, you know, work until your farmland. Uh, since we've moved past that, um, but it just see I see a lot of similar issues uh, there in South Korea as here in the United States, except for we're not getting paid any money to leave the house. But then again, why would we? Mass shootings, Jank. So uh, I think this has uh, potentially a couple of different explanations. One is the internet. Um, and since uh, people are can form communities online, I'm not just talking about the negative side about the inter- internet, although I'm going to get to that in a second. But people, people form communities online so they don't have to leave the house, that's part of it. But that's not good enough, you need human interaction. Let me come back to the second point, Jackson, why don't you jump in? Oh yeah, I think um, but what you brought up is important because um, this is an issue that younger generations are facing. It's not just negative, and, uh, but it's also people coming together uh, for positive reasons online. But what that does is it really stunts people's ability to have social skills. It stunts people's ability to develop things like patience and just general interest in getting to know people in real life. Uh, we can get sucked into things like social media and even if we don't mean to, we start comparing ourselves to just marketed image, marketed images. And that definitely can lead to feelings of uh, low self-esteem and just uh, general lack of worth. So that's 100% true. Um, but I mean, hey, $500 to get out, you, you, you're you definitely having uh, some type of problem that they're trying to solve. But that's that Samsung money right there. <laughs> you're gonna that use is. it to upgrade your phone, is that what you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, Samsung basically is South Korea. Like, yeah. So they just, I'm just making a joke, but <laughs> but yeah, something, I mean, hey, that's thats pretty cool. $500 to get out, hey, you can do something with that. Yeah, um, look, a lot of people in America be like, that sounds pretty good to me, right? <laughs> but uh, but, uh, but t- the second point I wanna make is that South Korea has um, one of the worst cases of late stage capitalism in the, in the world. And if you notice, uh, a lot of the entertainment that got comes out of South Korea, um, Squid Game, um, Parasite, are incredible critique of capitalism, right? And 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 their education system is partly feeds into that too, which is an extreme work ethic. Uh, and then 
extreme expectations about success, so called success, right? And I think it's driving um, some South Koreans into these situations where they, the pressure's too much. And they go the hell with it, that I'm not interacting with people, I'm not going out. Obviously, I'm doing a little bit of pop psychology based on their pop culture, based on what we're seeing, based on the what people are reporting. But when you combine those two things, there's one other factor though, that I think as you combine those, you go, look, human beings, and I've said this once or twice before, in the old days, the one thing about us that is helps us adjust, is our brains normalize our surroundings. So the the bad news is if you're super rich, you don't even realize you're super rich because you live in Beverly Hills and you're worried about the guy down the street that's even richer than you are and that you still stress out. So that's the bad part of it. But the good part of it is when you're in a little village and everybody's poor, you feel like, well, I'm just like everybody else. So you don't feel as bad, right? But now because of Instagram and social media, and late stage capitalism, we all live in Beverly Hills. Because we all see those guys every single day. And we can't, the regular, any regular person, South Korea or otherwise, can't keep up with the incredibly wealthy, incredibly attractive, incredibly fit, incredibly everything people that they're seeing in social media nonstop. So when you combine all those factors that creates enormous stress and pressure, and I can understand why people go, I just don't want to deal with it, man. I found a little community online that's a positive thing for me. I'm going to focus on that, and I don't need to deal with the rest of humanity. And uh, and so that's what I'm worried about. I think South Korea's got a bad case of it, but that's spreading all across the world. I I couldn't agree more, especially with um, seeing movements in other countries now trying to uh, force or compel people who are posting on Instagram photos or on social media to denote when the photos have been edited in some way um, to help others understand that this is not a true reflection of reality and thus do not compare yourself to this. Um, But I will go back to where Korea is going in terms of its financial incentives because it's kind of a lot. So. The $500 monthly allowance for shut in use is linked to Korea's Border Youth Welfare Support Act. Other government handouts for teens under the act include $1,500 a year in medical expenses, up to $577 monthly in tuition and school fees, $277 per month in job support services. 230 monthly for mental health services. Some youths are also eligible for $2,700 a year to pay legal fees and $230 monthly for cultural experiences. And so the 500 that we talked about, that's just kind of on top of the other things. And that 500 can be used for food, clothing, housing expenses, whatever they want. But this also is what gets me. Youths can also get $230 in cash to support for support for cosmetic surgery, which the spokesperson said covers correcting scars, tattoos, missing teeth, or disfigurements that make it difficult for them to interact with their peers in everyday life. Plastic surgery is generally not eligible for this purpose, the spokesperson added. The new measure aims to encourage shut in youth to return to school, look for jobs, and restore their daily lives. The thought is if you feel a little bit prettier, a little bit better, you have mental health services, you have job support services, you have all of the social support services you need, including a a beautiful beaming smile that you will be able to interact and you're gonna wanna get out there. Um, I, I gotta appreciate that they're trying to hit it from all angles. Uh, it's, it's truly, truly special, but as Jenk noted, if people continue to compare themselves to other people that they're seeing online, those people online are always gonna have a leg up, especially if they're using editing apps. Yeah, so I would like to confess now, my uh, photo on Twitter, Photoshopped. <laughs> Face tuned. I know. We're being, being vulnerable on the bonus episode. Let yeah. people know who we really are. So those yes. aren't your cheekbones. Those, those aren't your cheekbones. Is what no, you're no, okay. they're, they're my cheekbones. Except they just—they didn't add anything. They just took away things. Huh. <laughs> this is the real me. This is the real me. Okay. So, uh, but I do want to add two things there. As uh, Adrian read all those other benefits, I thought maybe we should just have one person propose that in America, so we could have every Republican politician go like this. <laughs> I mean, heads exploding, metaphorical, metaphorical. Um, and uh, the one upside of, of, of this story is if it goes viral in America, there's gonna be a lot of young people, 
young Americans that moved to South Korea. Those benefits look awesome. Yeah. There's no way in the world we get them here in America. Seriously. And it shows too that they're on top of uh, just thinking about how to change things up within their culture moving forward. Um, and doing a good job at identifying the, the human issues and not looking at uh, things mechanically so much. Because you pointed out uh, one of the things that I was watching a program recently uh, about South Korean culture and how it's very uh, heavy capitalist culture, but also too, um, how there's a lot of pressure to specifically work for Samsung. Because again, Samsung basically is South Korea's like entire economy. And then like there's other tiers. And if you can't get a job through Samsung, then there's something less and something less. So that definitely is a huge problem in South Korea. And I, I can imagine too that a lot of uh, South Korea's drive comes from being right next to North Korea. <laughs> you know, so just in terms of like, okay, let's keep pushing this forward. Let's keep moving away from what's right next to us. But it's definitely good that they're on top of the issues that uh, that culture has created. Yep. And uh, and to round out the story, uh, you can catch the Young Turks 24 hour channel on Samsung TV. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, literally, I'm not kidding. Uh, <laughs> Samsung is everywhere and they do have the TYT 24 hour channel. On the other hand, so do almost all the other platforms. Just type in or say TYT on the platform. Okay, this turned into an ad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, and South Koreans, don't worry, just stay at home and watch CYT all day. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. But take the $500 and go outside for a couple <laughs> minutes, okay? Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.